Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is XQ Crafting again and today I'm gonna show you how to make a mini art journal. Um, so I have like multiple art journal but I don't have a mini one and I was like hmm I don't want to buy a new one let's, let's, let's go ahead and try to make one. So I decided today to make my own. So is gonna be easy um it's not a lot of stuff you're not gonna need a lot of stuff you're just gonna need uh, a few stuff that you might even have at your house already so um, the first thing you're gonna need is um, some watercolor paper it is in the description below um, so what I did I took two pages and this page is, a, is already very thick but I decided to glue two together so it doesn't get too like and all bend it so I decided to glue two together and the measurements that I used it was four and a half by five and a half and then I made a hole on all the pages and then I put an o-ring on it and you can open it and take the pages out and, and work on it and then put it back together so what I did was I glue one page to the other and then I place um, a, a heavy heavy uh, thing on top of it I use books so you can um, go ahead and let that set overnight and then the next day you can just cut uh, cut it at any measurements that you want and the other thing that I used to make the cover was um, um, some uh, back of a notepad notepad so i had some notepads and the back of it is kind of chipboard and it's kind of thick so i use that to make the cover and later when i finish the art journal i can just decorate it so what like right now let's go ahead and do a page of the art journal so i use some tissue paper but you can use um you can use anything you want to just give some uh, kind of a texture on the background. Uh, just use stamps if you have, like letters, a stamp, or um, I don't know, an old book, anything that you want. You don't have to be limited to the um, tissue paper that I used. I use that because it's what I have. So I use some gesso and water just to give it a wash. And you're just gonna see me giving it one wash to the pages so I can. Um, make the page get a little bit faded but I use the second one and then I dry it out and the paper is gonna curl a little because it's wet and then you like um, you're trying to dry and it's gonna curl but you just put something heavy on top of it and it's gonna come back to normal again so now what I'm gonna do um, I don't have a stamp of a little girl it just looks kind of sad but it's because this is kind of an art journal that is gonna be like a motivational art journal so I just gonna do something in the beginning and then next page is gonna be the continuation of it so I'm just trying to draw and I'm not good at drawing anything and my coloring skills is <laughs> the coloring skill of a two-year-old so I used alcohol markers to color but i'm not good at coloring i love to color but i'm not good at it so i color that and you can use anything you want to color the the design that you do the drawing that you do you make but i use that and then i fuzzy cut it and i just put it aside and now i'm like trying to choose what color is gonna go on my background for the page and since it has like light colors i was like maybe I can use blue so I use at first I use a baby wipe to um, mix the color like to spread the color on the page but then it was too faded and the blue that I'm using is also very uh, light uh, so I, I decided to use my fingers and then use a second color of blue and then you're gonna see I'm gonna use a third one and the, the material that I use I'm using there is a um, is a uh, is it reacts with water and is a um, oil pastel it's not gelatos it's oil pastel it's not gel stick that is um, reacts with water and it's, it was kind of cheap and it works pretty well so I just use that and I spread all over the page and then I'm sealing the page I'm using uh, gel medium to just go ahead and uh, glue everything down so the colors doesn't come up the paper and make a mess later when I'm trying to work on it <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place the little girl 
on a page and I'm using gel medium again and again guys the material that I'm using everything is in the uh, description box below the video uh, so I let it dry first so I I glue the little girl and then I pass a oh, gel media on top of it and I'm using my my uh, big brush markers there but it's dry already so please let it dry first because gel media is a glue so if you use any uh, marker on top of it you're gonna ruin it so just let it dry and then after a while when it's completely dry I use my uh, big brush markers a pen is a Faber Castell pen uh, and you don't have to use that one if you don't have you can also use uh, oil pastel to do the same thing that I'm using right now I always say that our journal is very personal and is how you feeling on the day and you can do whatever you want with it is a, a way that you can express yourself and get inspired or just put whatever you feeling on the paper so that's what I'm doing there Um, and the big brush marker that I was using before is a Caput Martin. It's not on that set, but you can buy those separately. I bought this set and then I was like, hmm, the one that I like the most is not here. So I bought one separately, actually two. I bought also the white one. So after I finished with all of that, I decided to go ahead and use um, ribbons to put my quote down. And my quote is, it looks hard right now, but dot dot dot. It's just because this is just the first page of the art journal that I'm making. And some letters it was not, not perfect so I use my uh, big brush marker the black one to uh, go ahead and just make like fill the gaps there and what I'm doing now I'm covering up with gel medium again so they don't go anywhere and before I didn't say anything, I completely forgot uh, to let you know that the page it has some little splashes. I used um, a, a brown acrylic paint to just go ahead and do some splashes on the page because I wanted to the page to have something that will have to do with the, the drawing of the little girl. And since her hair is kind of brownish, I just I decided to use the uh, brown ac acrylic paint to um, make some splashes. Um, and now I'm doing the same thing with the white one because I want to have some kind of light. I feel that the page is a little bit too, too dark. So I'm using um, gesso in a little bit of water and I'm using my um, brush. It looks like a fan brush. I don't really know how it's called, but it's very easy to put splashes on the page with that. And what I did, I covered um, the little girl because I don't want her to have any white splashes. And what you're gonna see now is uh, me using a gel pen, a white gel pen, just to give highlights on the letters that is black. And now you can see the uh, pictures and you're gonna see how it looks like from a close-up. 
and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you for uh, being here and watch the video and please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh, I see you next time. Thank you. Bye.